On May 7th of this year, Swan will be conducting our yearly auction of modernist posters. And every year, the auction gets better and better, and this year is no exception. The pieces we've accumulated for this year's auction truly stand out as among the rarest and the most exceptional examples in many different fields. The pieces that we have are of such a high quality that it's not only a privilege, but it's also a treat to be able to work with them and also to be able to share some of them with you. Lot number one in the catalog also happens to be the earliest poster that we're offering in this auction. Uh, it dates from 1896, and it's an American poster by the great American illustrator Maxfield Parrish. Maxfield Parrish, uh, as an artist, his name is almost a household word. Uh, around the turn of the century, it was said that one in every three homes had one of his works hanging up on the walls. He's known for his book illustrations, he's known for his decorative panels, and in some rare cases, he's also known to have designed some posters. This one, one of his earliest, is also one of his rarest. This poster is important really for two reasons. First of all, it's advertising a poster show, and that in and of itself is a great historical fact, because in the 1890s, the world was literally gripped by poster mania. In France, there were many poster shows, and even many magazines, many periodicals that came out catering to the poster collecting public. And in America, and in England, and in Germany, there were groups of poster collectors and poster fans that would get together. So even in America, we see that the poster mania came across the Atlantic, and America itself was gripped by this craze for the new art form. And in 1896, to advertise a poster exhibition in Philadelphia, Maxfield Parrish designed this poster. Stylistically, it's very different from all of Maxfield Parrish's other work. Parrish is best known for his fantastic, almost imaginary landscapes and these rich cobalt blues. This poster, on the other hand, is very much in the style of Toulouse-Lautrec. Broad, flat plains of dull color, browns and grays. Uh, it shows two women going to attend the poster exhibition. It really is a superb example of early American graphic art based on the French masters. And as such an important historical document, as such an important artistic document, we really felt it was appropriate to make it the first lot of the sale. Sort of an introduction of the world to modernist design. Lot number 12 is one of 20 different posters we have by the great German poster designer Ludwig Holwein. Now, to have 20 posters by Holwein is really an unparalleled auction experience. His work comes up fairly frequently, but never in such a large concentration. And we're really delighted to have some fantastic examples of his early work through the work he did in the 1930s and 1940s. Lot 12, Dahmen's Confection House Meyer Sundheimer, certainly is a mouthful, but as far as beautiful graphic design goes, there really is nothing better. It is an exquisite, well-balanced design in which two different boxes, if you notice, a box with the image, the image of the roses, and beautifully stylized roses at that, and a separate box with the text. They're really offsetting each other while also balancing each other, uh, surrounded by the beautiful white background in a, an almost choreographed typographic movement that encapsulates the image and expresses it to the public in a way that very few other artists would even have dared to try and capture. Holwein does it almost effortlessly. Holwein had complete control over the design of the typography. He designed the lettering, he hand drew the lettering onto the stone, and he was able to fully incorporate it into the image. Uh, you even notice how there's the trace of rose petals within the typography itself. In general, Holwein's earlier work is the rarer, and in many cases, the more graphically experimental, uh, the more exciting, and the more collectible today. This poster from 1909 is one of his earlier works, and is a true masterpiece of graphic design. Among the 20 fabulous Holweins that we have on offer is the image from about 1910, actually a very rare Swiss image for Chaussures Americaine, a shoe company. We also have a poster he designed for an American firm uh, in Nashua, New Hampshire, of the direct China cotton importers. Other images we have include a very wonderful image for Toblerone chocolate, as well as another scarce and extremely powerful image for Hercules beer. We have some travel posters, we have an image advertising Steinway pianos, 
Holwein really designed hundreds and hundreds of posters during his career, during his lengthy career, and we have an extraordinary cross sample of the different works that he did. Lot number 72 is one of a fair number of Russian posters that we have in this auction. And the Russian posters that we have, again, are sort of a, a 101 course in the history of great Russian graphic design. Uh, we have two pieces by the incomparable Stenberg brothers, two movie posters. We have a political propaganda poster by Gustav Klutzis, and we also have one by his wife, Valentina Kulagina. Great propagandists and excellent posters. This poster, lot 72, for Iviaxim, is a little bit different from the others in a rather prominent reason. Much like the other political posters, it is a photo montage. But first of all, it's not a political poster. It's advertising an airline company. And second of all, the color scheme is very different from many of the other Russian posters. Predominantly, Russian posters were red, uh, given the color of the Soviet state. This poster is predominantly blue and yellow with some red put in. And if you look at the image, you see it really is extraordinary. A worker is hailing uh, a stream of airlines emerging from between two factories, and out of the factories are flowing all of these different goods that the airline company can handle. There are domestic goods on one side of the poster and military goods on the other side of the poster. We see how these planes, which are depicted in some graphic detail, uh, can be used for dusting crops or for fighting a war. Just a great image from 1926 by an unknown artist, but a wonderful example of Soviet graphic design during the early years of the socialist state. People collect Russian posters not just because of their great art, not just because of their great graphic design, not just because some of the artists really were pioneers in the field of photomontage. People also collect these posters because they are wonderful social and historical documents from the period of the socialist state. A great example is lot number 77, uh, not designed by any well-known artist, the image almost makes you smile. Two plus two equals five. Well, it's not that the Russians were so bad at math, but it is in fact pushing for one of Stalin's five-year plans and really says a lot about the economy and the culture of the Soviet Union in 1931. One of the things I'm delighted about in this auction is having a selection of French Art Deco posters on a level of which I haven't seen in, I, I don't know how long, really great examples. Well, here in this auction, lot number 89, we see an extraordinary poster, a poster I have never seen before, a poster there is no reference of actually existing, for an exhibition that I haven't yet found anyone who has heard of it yet, for a French exposition in New York in 1924. Now this would make it a year prior to the seminal exhibition in Paris from which Art Deco took its name. This poster for a French exposition was designed by no one less than Georges Barbier, truly one of the finest and most famous mannerist Art Deco illustrators to work in France, if not in the entire world. And this image of Marianne, the symbol of France, holding a cornucopia filled with luxury French goods spilling out onto the floor into the hands of Mercury, the god of trade, is in fact a visual metaphor for all of the great design and art that was coming out of France. The poster for the 1925 exhibition we sold in our modernist poster auction last year for a world record price. Now this year, collectors and scholars have a chance to purchase a poster that existed a year prior to this other poster designed by a more famous artist, George Barbier. Really, this was America's first glimpse of Art Deco and is a true collector's item, not even a collector's item, it's really a museum piece.